Hi there, my name is Tal from PS Kiss and this demonstration is about skin and scenery color profiles. This scenery image is opened through Bridge with Adobe Camera Raw and the default camera profile is Adobe Standard. But look what happens when you use PS Kiss profiles. For this image, Velvia Touch will be excellent. The colors pop up, the contrast changes, and the whole image looks happier. Now, I want to emphasize one very important fact. This is not a preset. Nothing is changed. It's all default settings. Let's see the difference again. This is Adobe Standard. This is PS Kiss Velvia Touch. The interesting fact about DNG profiles is that they change the initial color lookup table that the program is interpreting the raw data. That means you get a whole new color set before you start making your adjustments in Camera Raw or in Lightroom. It's exactly the same. I'm just using Camera Raw interface because it's brighter and I find it nicer on a video presentation. In any other manner, they are exactly the same. The other profile we recommend for scenery is Vivid Landscape Mode 1. This is a bit darker, a bit less saturated, but still very different from the Adobe Standard. The other way you can use skin and scenery profiles is by choosing one of the presets you got with your package. Each one has a basic preset. When I choose PS Kiss Velvia Touch Basic, that means I'm not changing anything in the adjustments, just changing the profile. We added some creative suggestions to these profiles so you can have um, an idea what you can do with Camera Raw, Lightroom, and our profiles. Let's choose Blue and Cream Duo. This turns split toning of a bit yellowish highlights and bluish shadows. Now this seems like a regular preset, but it uses PS Kiss Velvia Touch Profile. If you change to Adobe Standard, it's different because the way the colors are created influences any preset, any tweaking, any adjustment you're going to do in the Camera Raw or Lightroom Develop model. Let's see some more. The Vintage profile actually washes out color and makes the image look old. Again, don't be mistaken, this didn't change anything anywhere. That means if you want the blues to be brighter, just make them brighter. If you want the greens to be darker, make them darker. Everything will start working from a new start point. If you want to use some really crazy ones, we have the false HDR style, which cracks up the image. You can use silky and soft if you like silky and soft look. But hey, this says dark skin. Well, so what? Even though it is marked dark skin, which is recommended for portrait usage, you can use it on landscape and scenery photographs and enjoy a whole new look of your image. Now let's see how it works with portrait. In this portrait image, I'm going to change the white balance before I start using the profiles in order to have a clearer look of how the profiles really change color. I'm changing to tungsten. This is a bit too cool for me. Let's warm it up a little. This looks nice to me. Now let's see the influence of the profiles. The default, as usual, is Adobe Standard. See what the dark skin is doing to the image. A whole new skin tone. And the other portrait one, Powered Skin and Lips, will pop up the contrast, will emphasize the lips. I love these red lips. They look just beautiful, don't they? You can always switch back to defaults. That means the white balance correction we did on the first step here on this image will be 
erased. Now if you use the basic, this uses as shot white balance. Deeper details, higher contrast. Don't watch the difference between these presets because deeper details is using lens correction. That's why it jumps. If you want to use powered skin and lips, go ahead. Here's the grungy black and white version. As all presets, you can go and change and fit the way you like it. If you don't want it that sharp or if you want it sharper, you can do any change you want in these presets and save them again as your own presets. You always keep using PS Kiss profiles for better color appearance of your photos. Now even in a black and white preset, look what happens if we switch to Adobe Standard. That's great. Now if you use the original p uh, profile of the preset, you get that punchy black and white look that we wanted you to have. Let's go back to another scenery photograph. Look what happened when you use a portrait recommended profile on a scenery photograph. Let's use dark skin. Hmm. It really improved the color appearance of the image. Also the other one, powered skin and lips, will pop up the reds, which is nice for this mini clubman car. If you want to really punch out your image, use Velvia Touch or Vivid Landscape. If you want to give it that old washed out look, use Vintage. It is washed out. Now, the last profile I want to talk about is Cool Bright Up. Cool Bright Up is a unique member of this package because it cools the white balance, it brings up the midtones, and it changes the whole color appearance. This is, you, you can call this profile a creative profile. It's not suitable for any specific kind of image. You're welcome to try and use it on any image you like. I really like this profile when using it on dark images. It really pops up the midtones and make the image kind of creamy, subtle, and very pleasing. You can of course use the presets that come with this profile, with deeper blacks, grain and vignette, and muted colors and soft. So let's wrap it up. When you use skin and scenery color profiles by PS Kiss, you get a whole new look for your image, primary to any adjustments you make in Adobe Camera Raw using Photoshop or Photoshop Elements or Lightroom. These color changes come before any adjustment you do. You don't need to do any further adjustment if you like the outcome. This is Cool Bright Up. This is Dark Skin on a car. This is Powered Skin and Lips. This is Velvia Touch. This is Vintage. And this is landscape, Vivid Landscape Mode 1. Each profile comes with four presets, a basic and three creative. Remember, the basic just uses the color profile. It doesn't change anything else. All the rest stays on default. Now, you get our suggestions for changing your image. And don't forget, even when you use a creative preset, it uses PS Kiss profile. When you switch to the standard profiles, you'll get a different look. Here's another final look on my good friend Toma Rolls-Royce photograph. Look what happens when you switch to Velvia Touch. Now, one last very important comment. When you use the basic preset, it uses your initial white balance and exposure and all the basic setups. So if you find it too dark or too bright, that's only natural. Just go on 
and change the exposure and all the basic settings as it fits anyway you will always get a better look and better colors than the ones you'll get from the standard profiles thank you very much for watching this demonstration if you like this product you're welcome to go to our website pskiss.com and choose skin and scenery color profiles thank you very much bye bye